This is the neighbor's house that burned earlier while I was making that uh, the recording. And I'm about to show you that it was 100% certainly plasma fire. See how it's burnt on the inside? See this pole over here? Oh. See this pole here? Burnt 100% on that side, not on this side. You see? You following me? See the line? See the line? Likewise here. So they're just uh, boarding it up for him. But I'm gonna show you a couple other things over here. See that? All the signatures. And the fact that I was saying what I was saying, when I was saying it, when this happened, is the way things work in mysterious ways. 100% zero. 100% zero. You seeing the signatures yet? seen this before okay now the fact that I said this guy might have been targeted without even having seen it is really bizarre okay so I'm gonna try and act cool because everyone else is still kind of standing around I don't want to freak them out but that's about all you need to see I'm not sure how it started, but I'm going to show you, like, tomorrow when I come back, plenty of other signatures that match the same, match the same burn pattern. I can show you, oop, over here on the sidewalk where, uh, so you notice this is unburnt on the outside. Burnt on the bottom. That means there was a high energy on the ground coming from up. It burned it from the bottom, not from the top. And I'm gonna show, oh, and these rocks. These rocks are so scorched, the high heat broke off and chipped away this rock here. And you'll notice there's a lot just like this where the ground is completely blackened when the weeds are only inches above the ground over there near the sidewalk. But I'll go back over here. That guy seemed to kind of chase me down and want to know what I was doing. But I know what I'm doing. This right here. Fire don't burn that unevenly on one side and then not on the other. This pine tree over there is burned clear to the top. Mind you, aluminum is an accelerant. Completely charred. Clear to the top. And the whole fire was pretty much located in one square, one square lot. These logs burned real hot. Again, 100% zero. Just like this other one over here, this is the second one I'm showing you. 100% a little bit, but this one here, 100% zero, 100% zero doing my job but as you can see this had to burn real high heat to get that thick of a log to burn that hot then you follow it down here and you got more zero zero 100 100 and where this meets this right here is because there's a nail right there and the intersection creates a hot spot and why did it not burn down here but it burned so hot up there this was absolutely 100 percent plasma fire How do you get all this burnt 100% and this zero? I'll come back tomorrow when there's not as many people, but I wanted to come over here and get some some first-hand footage. This poor guy's taking it pretty hard. Looks like this is still smoking.
Okay. So the fact that I was saying I was going to hike up the hill and show you the plasma fire on the mountain today, I'm going to finish my little dissertation and my little sermon I was making to tell you about how I don't know how I'd be able to even handle this if I hadn't developed a relationship with God through the trauma, the shared trauma that he helped me through. Just to get you some close-ups of this wood, see the unburnt spot there? and how hot it burned all around that unburned spot. Likewise on the end of that log, and on the end of that log. And right here on this log. I've only got about 10 minutes of memory left on here, so I'm gonna kinda make it quick, and I don't wanna make too much of a scene because there's kids around and I don't wanna freak them out. That log. That log, how do those stay unburned in the midst of all that high heat? I'm not sure if it started here at these electrical lines. For some reason, it seems like maybe it started over there at that trailer. I'm not sure how this all went down. But you see that? See how flimsy this is? I'll show you how the ground over here scorched black just like that and left a bunch of weeds with dry leaves all over, like this. That's part of the tree that's hooked in right there. And it burned real hot below these dry, dry leaves. Because there's electricity flowing on the ground. I've spotted it before in Spanish Fork where if there's a high spot, it levels out like water. If there's a mound, you'll see zero burn on the mound. And everywhere around the mound is black. Like water levels out, this electricity blanket that goes over the ground also levels out. I'll show you over here what I mean. But as we're going, I want to show you it's highly burned here and zero here. And you'll see the same thing where it burned on the inside of these logs. This one sticking out is highly burned. And you'll notice on the inside they're burned and on the outside they're unburned. Can you see the difference in the color there? Likewise here, the knots burn and it comes up through the fibers of the tree using the root systems like Electrical coil, like electrical wire. See that one? Black circle within an unburned area. Come over here, and you'll notice how highly burned the ground is beneath. This dry foliage. So, the burning happened at ground level and didn't even work its way up. See how dry this is? Only burned at ground level. This was definitely an electricity fire. Just so you know your mind ain't playing tricks on you. Burned and burned. Now this is a small, a small piece of wood that actually kind of runs along the length of the uh, telephone pole and it kind of separated the burn but 